My name is Arnold Baker and I am in constant pain. The next problem is one that's going to affect most of us in later life. And the pain that goes with it is chronic. This is a typical month's worth of medication that I take. It's a disease of the joints. I can't take one step in front of me without pain. But heaven knows I'm miserable now. You've probably heard of arthritis. Well, the most common form of arthritis is osteoarthritis. It causes stiffness of the joints and, above all, pain. I used to enjoy fishing. Very, very reluctant to do anything like that now because I don't want the pain that comes with it. Osteoarthritis is making not just Arnold's life a misery, but eight million sufferers in the UK too. Time to get to the bottom of Arnold's pain. I've got a very special piece of kit here, which is actually going to listen to the inside of your joints, and I'm going to play that back to you so we can actually both listen to what's going on. So what we would normally hear is absolutely nothing. Away you go. Bend the leg, that's it. And straighten. Very significant, isn't it? It is indeed. But what is making that terrible noise? We need to find out exactly what's going on inside Arnold's joints. Time for some more state-of-the-art kit. <laughs> well, let's not oversell it now, Jack. But this is a pretty accurate model of the knee joint that I've knocked up in the basement. What we've got here is the bricks to bone, mm -hmm. and then this plastic part is the cartilage yep. in between yep. the yep. joint. That is so smooth. Beautiful and smooth, yep. isn't it? But what, what often happens, what starts off osteoarthritis, is often this injury mm -hmm. to one of these surfaces, to the cartilage itself. So let's injure the, the, the surface. <laughs> Ten years' worth of damage. Ten years' worth of damage coming onto those surfaces. And imagine, this is what we're talking about with Arnold. This is his knee, this is his ankles. All of a sudden, we can hardly move it. It's grating and it's grinding. Oh, that's it. Until eventually, all of this surface then goes bone on bone. And that's what we end up with joint that's not going to move and is incredibly yeah, painful. Even sounds painful. And oh. that's osteoarthritis. <sighs> not something that you want to have. So it's no wonder that osteoarthritis is painful. But there's something even worse that's causing problems for Arnold. Because pain itself has nasty hidden consequences. Pain isn't just a feeling, it's a condition that affects your whole body and your mind. Go on! And after suffering myself twice already in the name of science, I'm now going to put Greg's body on the line to prove it. Good morning, Prof. How are you, Doc? You got something for me there? We have something in store for you today. Am I going to enjoy it? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to love it. <laughs> What on earth is that, mate? It looks like some sort of torture outfit. Yes, close. <laughs> it's called an osteo suit. Right. It is a specially designed simulator of what it's like to live with osteoarthritis. And you are going to be squeezed into it. Wow. And we are going to measure just how stressful it is through the pain and discomfort you feel. Don't the whole day? You are going to be in this whole day. <laughs> So, what exactly will a whole day of pain do to Professor Gregg's godlike body? This is a breathing rate monitor. Right, okay. I'm going to measure Gregg's heart rate and the stress hormone cortisol, which occurs naturally in all our bodies. At the moment, they're both at normal levels. But when Gregg puts on this special suit, his joints will feel as if they've aged by 20 years. Perfect. Ball bearings and straps in the suit will rub and squeeze Greg's joints. Those are very colourful. You're not supposed to comment on that. Don't no, get me honest with you. <laughs> Instantly, that's not very pleasant. OK. Let really. me just make sure that the ball bearings are all... What, dug into the back of my neck? Oh. Does it hurt when I do that? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're off. Let's go. <laughs> this is, this is going to be a long day. Now I've trussed him up in his suit, I've told the prof to drive himself to our test location. Oh! 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 
just uh, just turning your neck is absolute agony. Just those little things that you, you just don't expect to be a problem. Just gripping the steering wheel. It's agony on the hands. Come on, Greg, you should be taking these two at a time. So where have I made the Olympian professor painfully drag himself to? Yeah. This is incredible. Wembley Stadium for my specially designed pain-testing assault course. It's not quite football. We've got an urban obstacle course, so you can experience, as an osteoarthritis sufferer, what it's like to do simple tasks that every day we take for granted, but you will understand how difficult it is and how painful it is to do that. So you brought me to Wembley for a domestic obstacle course? With a little bit of football. I'll take it. <laughs> the pain Greg's feeling from the suit is a continuous ache in his joints, but I'm going to add to his pain by attaching collars which give electric shocks. Um, it's meant to be realistic. No, it's not just for fun. An intermittent jabbing pain like this... You ready? Yeah, go on. OK. Hey! Hey! Oh! ..is what it's like when bone rubs on bone. Ouch. Ready? Ready? Set? Yep. Go. Hey! Oh! Oh! Do oh. you have to keep doing that? Come on, you're a strong... When and if Professor Greg finishes the course, I'll have some actual results which will show what this pain is doing to his body. You're going to make me a cup of tea, oh. a nice cup of tea. Bit of milk in. Oh! Agony! Agony! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, thanks, mate. Oh, oh come oh. on, come on, come on. Oh. Some ironing. Ironing. Oh, here we go. Right, right. That's it. That's it. Oh. You're making a real hash oh. of this. Look, it's, it's even worse oh. than it It's the big come one. Come on. This is it. It's the big one. Give me the leg. Oh. This is it. Oh. Yes. yes! You beauty! He shoots, he scores. And now for the all important results. Turns out Greg's heart rate has doubled and his stress hormone cortisol is up by a third. Not good news. In fact, pain causes stress and suffering high stress levels for a long time increases the risk of bigger health problems like cardiovascular disease, liver and kidney disease and even cancer. Oh man, if that is osteoarthritis, I never want it. Simple as that. We've looked at what causes osteoarthritis pain and discovered the worrying effect that it has on the body. Osteoarthritis can't yet be cured, so what can we do to reduce the pain? Well, the first way is probably the last thing you'd expect, moving the joints more. Hey Arnold, great to see you. What we're going to try and do is to cut your pain and the key is actually exercise. So pop yourself down there. I want you to pop your legs, your feet, up onto this plate. Not particularly easy. It might seem strange to get Arnold to use his joints more when it's obvious they hurt so much. But just like Holly, exercise is actually going to help him. So to some extent what we're doing is we're forcing the mobility here, but at the same time we're improving the flexibility, and now we extend, extend up, and what we're doing there is we're improving the strength as well. The second thing Arnold needs to do to beat pain is lose weight. This is basically a treadmill in the water. Because the lighter he is, the less weight he'll put on his joints and the less pain he'll feel. Good man. Excellent. There you go. That's it. Perfect. As this clever piece of kit shows. This piece of kit here is actually going to reduce your weight while you're walking. Wow. Amazing. OK. So, what's the sort of pain that you've got? Well, I would say it's, it's moderate. Yeah. So out of 10, on, on a 10 scale? Six. OK, so about 6 out of 10, just yeah. walking along. Yeah. OK, so you're, yeah. you're obviously in pain. That's at your full body weight. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, Arnold, is bring you down to 75% of your body weight, OK? Yeah. And could you feel it sort of lifting you up slightly? Yes, ever so slightly, yeah. Quite nice. Oh, there. hello. <laughs> All we're doing here is we're using air pressure to reduce the amount of force that's going through those ankles and right. those knees. And what's the pain like now? How, how are the, the ankles and the uh, knees feeling? It seems to have improved already, I would say, five, four to five now. It, it shows you really nicely how we can actually just reduce your body weight 
we can reduce the pain. It's a great thing to uh, feel the benefit almost immediately. I think we're on the right direction now. Good. I hope so. Excellent. Good man. As with Holly, we've designed Arnold a six-week regime that we think will help him beat his pain. And what about Arnold? I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly happy for you. Impressed. Well, you're thank you. On your face. Yeah. And this is you a few weeks ago. Worry, worry about going for a stroll. That's brilliant. You happy? Yes, I think there's been a change in mood. Yeah. Um, I'm more confident in my joints. Yeah. Because they seem to be getting stronger. Yeah. After just three weeks of regular training, Arnold's already needing fewer and fewer painkillers. You gone fishing. Oh, you know and not just that, he's worked so hard to beat the pain that we're able to join him for a very special fishing trip. His first in seven years. <laughs> Lucy makes a shocking discovery about Ian in EastEnders, next on BBC One. And then Panorama investigates evidence of racist violence ahead of Euro 2012 at 8.30.